There it is. I had it faced the wrong way. So, today is Tuesday. It's supposed to be the greatest Tuesday ever. I'm looking forward to it. I'm not sure exactly why. Maybe I'll win the lottery. Probably should play the lottery. If you want that. Maybe so. I have the Schumann frequency in the background. I have one of the speakers sitting in my restroom. Which does the whole restroom. And then brings it down this hallway connected into my room at my face where I'm sitting here now on the transposed inside track psychotronic generator that's not seen here it's slightly melting my right eyeball much to the detriment I'm sure it's kicking in a little bit of um, oh yeah epileptic seizures I want to work on my epileptic fit. See, I've heard someone go through an epileptic seizure. I've seen it. It's, it's horrible. Kind of, if you, you know, if you're like around them and you don't know they're epileptic, you really don't know what's going on. I'm not medically trained and in a room with prisoners, I'm not likely to become your medic you're going into epileptic shock but now if you go into an epileptic fit perhaps we can do something perhaps we can work together because I'm going to work on my own epileptic fit I just fucking freak out like that I just start fucking freaking just you know but it'll be mostly a, a show I was listening to Matt a minute ago he's talking about you know, King Henry, the, what is he going to be? Not Henry, he's not Henry. Charles. Prince Charles has now ascended to being King Charles, which is very hard to say. I find it very hard to say that. You're going to have to chill out with that. It's doing me great, so great disservice. You want a light, epileptic fit just to keep you with enough momentum of buzz to get you through your days and Tuesday is a martial day Tuesday is ruled by Mars the 20th 9 20 92 so there's another 11 hmm 11s are weird when I do Gematria I do it I pick a number that stands out because if it stands out to me it's already communicating to me it's talking to me it's talking to me and a lot of the communications that I got from myself you could say from aliens too if you wanted to but it's really not appropriate because that's not really what it was I listened to Journey to Truth last night they had a, a, a young lady as a guest uh, she said that she had been trained Buddhist in her family since she was, you know, raised. What was very interesting about her is she type, she connected a lot of the dots that I had already found myself at in my life up until yesterday on a moon day. So this is a most fitting Tuesday. It was great. And I had these dreams where at first I was going very weird, but the places I was going, I really felt as if because I woke up, my hands were immediately completely numb. But they put their self back on so fast. They were like gloves. That the feet, when I put my hands like this, they just immediately came right back. And I knew that this had to do with my dream. And I took this into the next round, which was deeper that I had. Because that was early. That was early in the night, prior to midnight, where I'd had the dream and woke up real fast. But during the night, 
which I woke up later many times. I think after two, though. But um, I had dreams about some sort of um, Charlie's Angels. Now, maybe King Charles, Prince Charlie. Uh, uh, I don't know. I didn't think about it but until just now. That's the good thing about unpacking the dreams and your psychotronic travels. Now, mine are in dreams. Mine are in dreams. Now, I got paired up with one of these Charlie's Angels, and it seemed like... It seemed like with this woman, I had some sort of encounter with either making out with her, maybe we had sex, I don't know. But there was something about her that in the process of connecting with her sexually, there was a weird scan and dualism that came from this lady. And yes, she had two sisters or two, something, something weird, something weird was going on, but I pretty much stayed investigating the case of what was going on. What were they doing? What was, why was I here? Was I here? Why was the point? And I was following those lines and to that I'm still in the dream. Does that make sense? My man whore? Did I experience succubi? No. We uh, we found ourselves in appropriate circumstances, neither to be a basing one nor the other. I would think, being as for the most part of myself, being a single male who likes to have dreams for these uh, these opportunities to meet crazy non-physical spiritual beings women sometimes they are you know and I hope it's not just some monster demonic entity that's male using some sort of weird transgender sock puppet spirit thing to suck my energies out but I didn't I don't feel like that I feel quite vigorous this morning I don't feel any detriment like that and since I've prayed the proper prayers and address myself in the proper respects, it's all enough just to share it. Because I don't think there was any activity like that, but I think it was in the mi in the mind field of already these things are those. That's why I say, or I probably would be drained, the hell down, and suck you by. But I'm not. I'm not. Not. It's very interesting. And I'm still subject to say that in this dream that I had, I'm not articulating right my experiences to you, the viewer. I'm trying to. But when I was able to gather them together, which was very hard because it was deep in there, um, I used Charlie's Angels to describe what I think was occurring. So if I roll out any investigating from those points of view and diverge with more mindfulness of the Charlie's Angels, that's incorrect. Now... I'll hang on with Charlie because of the other Charlie. He said something interesting on the TV. And when he said it, I was listening to him. And it occurred to me that he was speaking as if to someone, a one who had been watching them over time, also long in the world. Does that make sense? And maybe Matt says that he's going to be out of there. They're going to throw him away. I don't know. I don't know what his function would be anyway, really. No, even if they're just Dracos. 
they're out of there. I have a little bit of Draco in me, I think. A reptilian that's old and of the caliber of the white Draco, but maybe not. Maybe it's not white Draco, after all. Maybe it's some other. They may tell you that they corner the whole market on reptiles and dragons. I'm not going to say that's the case. I'm going to suggest to you, the viewer and listener, that maybe they aren't. You know? I watched, you know, they have Samurai Lizard Man in Japan statue. He's at a certain temple, or he was, until they put him on the inside. I don't know why they took him out. I mean, he looked badass like... Like, um... Iguana Samurai Extreme. He looked cool. Cool as fuck. If I were him, I could feel that. I could feel that statue. That'd be one of the first statues I probably would just project myself into and just go ahead and turn into Iguana Man Lizard. If I had a choice, you know, to pick different statues of those things. So... I don't know, but as you know, I'm not a, I'm a non-eating and trafficking children activist. Everything that's important to me is based on that negation of that reality in this reality. We're all experiencing it. It's a consensus. They have child trafficking in your reality. They have child trafficking in mine. It represents something of ourself. Being as it's ourself, hello, it's ourself, it's our children. We cannot predate our children, even up into the seventh generation. So that's all I'm going to say, because uh, a good leader came forth, and he, in response to biotech mandate of Joe Biden robots, Let's call him the, the correct. I'll use Daniel's language. He calls him uh, Stepford Biden. <laughs> he gave some mandate for biotech and transhumanism, basically, essentially. So another guy on the Inspired channel basically mirrored that in his call to <clears throat> call to logos. Are you done? I can't turn it off. <laughs>